Russia has threatened the US over ATA CMS missiles and declared that there will be harsh responses. The long-range ATA CMS missiles that the US has supplied to Ukraine are extremely dangerous weapons, but they will not help Kiev turn the tide of the conflict against Moscow, Russian ambassador to Washington Anatoly Antonov has said. Earlier, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters that back in February, US President Joe Biden had ordered the provision of Kiev with a significant number of ATA CMS missiles for use inside Ukraine, which commenced the following month. The ATA CMS, which have a range of 300 kilometers, were transferred quietly to Ukraine in order to maintain operational security, Pentagon spokesman Major Charlie Dietz stressed. The delivery of long-range missiles to Kiev is impossible to justify, Antonov said in a post on Telegram. The move by Washington increases the threat to the security of Crimea, including Sevastopol, the new Russian regions and other Russian cities, he added. The assurances by the US officials that the long-range missiles will not be used against Russian territory are particularly cynical, the ambassador stressed. How can we ignore the numerous terrorist attacks by Kiev's criminals? Deadly strikes on hospitals, schools, kindergartens, bridges and even their own servicemen? Antonov reminded that the Russian forces have already shot down mid-range ATA CMS missiles, which Ukraine had received last September. The same will happen with their long-range counterparts, he assured, adding that neither these missiles nor other weapons can help defeat Russia. Aren't local politicians in the US afraid of drowning in the quagmire of conflict? Washington will not be able to get out of the horrible swamp that has absorbed the blood of ordinary soldiers. The ambassador warned. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova pointed to the fact that Washington's acknowledgement of the delivery of long-range ATA CMS to Ukraine comes amid attempts by Kiev and its Western backers to deceive the international community into some kind of conference on the Zelensky formula. Washington's plan is sickeningly simple. Drag everyone into a pointless meeting under the pretext of peaceful intentions while at the same time boosting Zelensky's terrorist potential, she said on Telegram. Switzerland said earlier this month that it is going to host a peace conference on Ukraine in June without Russia's participation. No benefit. Ukrainian military spoke about problems with Leopard, Abrams and Bradley. The benefit of German Leopard tanks in Ukraine turned out to be zero. They are short-lived. This is due to Russian dominance in the air. The Spanish publication El País wrote about this, citing its sources in the Ukrainian special services. According to the military, Leopard and Abrams tanks suffer significant damage from Russian drones because these armoured vehicles lack sufficient short-range anti-aircraft defence. Armoured infantry vehicles from the US Bradley are described by the Ukrainian military as old vehicles already in use that last at the front in Ukraine for only a few months. According to a source for El País, in one of the companies of the 47th Brigade, out of 11 such infantry fighting vehicles, there are only three left, and another Bradley infantry fighting vehicle was sent for repairs because its starter stopped working. Western howitzers supplied from the EU are losing the necessary accuracy due to intensive use, and most of them have run out of ammunition. The 47th Brigade is reported to have lost 30% of its soldiers in the last three months as under pressure from the political leadership and international allies, Ukraine needed urgent results at the front and the army embarked on a near suicidal operation without air control and against very strong Russian defences. The military said that now for every armoured vehicle of the Ukrainian armed forces, there are 10 Russian infantry vehicles. For every Ukrainian soldier defending in the Avdiivka area, there are 30 Russians going on the assault. I know one company of 80 soldiers which lost 65 people in a week. Previously, for every Ukrainian soldier who left the battlefield wounded or killed, there were three Russian ones. Now we are almost equal in losses, stated the source of the publication. Recently, Foreign Affairs wrote that of the Leopard 2 tanks transferred to Ukraine, a third have already been knocked out, the rest are not operational. Also, the Ukrainian military in an interview with CNN said that Bradley infantry fighting vehicles do not withstand frosts well, but they provide high firepower.
If Ukraine doesn't get its lands back after US and UK aid, it will have to negotiate with Putin. Ukraine will receive more than half a billion dollars in new British military aid that is aimed at helping Kyiv push back the Russian invasion on land and sea, according to UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. The British package comes on the heels of the US House of Representatives finally passing a $60 billion military aid bill after months of wrangling. With the boost in Western support for Kyiv's forces, Ukraine's military command needs to start seriously thinking about the counter-offensive and recapturing their land, Ukraine analyst Viktor Kovalenko told Newsweek. Sunak's office said on Tuesday that the latest funding will be used to rapidly deliver ammunition, air defence, drones and engineering support. The drones will be procured in the UK and the funds will support a scaling up in domestic defence supply chains, Sunak's office said, with the British Ministry of Defence sending our largest ever single package of equipment from the UK. The package contains 60 boats, including offshore raiding craft, rigid raiding craft, dive boats, maritime guns, over 1,600 strike and air defence missiles, Storm Shadow long-range precision guided missiles, 160 protected mobility Husky vehicles, 162 armoured vehicles, 78 all-terrain vehicles, 4 million rounds of ammunition. The Storm Shadow long-range precision guided missiles have already proven effective in striking Russia's Black Sea Fleet. Crucially, the package will include 4 million rounds of small arms ammunition, which has been sorely needed by Ukraine's forces. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that following the House's passing of US aid, everything has been decided in the ATA-CMS negotiations for Ukraine, referring to the US Army tactical missile system, which can strike targets up to about 186 miles away. Kovalenko, a Ukrainian combat veteran from 2014 to 2015, said that despite the Western support, time is definitely on Russia's side to cut the Donbass and they have manpower for that. With the US aid package, the Ukrainian military command needs to start seriously thinking about the counter-offensive and recapturing their land, he said. If Kyiv won't be able to do that this year or gain back just a few villages, President Zelensky will have to go to the negotiating table with Putin to save Ukraine as a state, at least in its existing shape, Kovalenko said.